Also tonight, a new problem out of this week's massive rains. The flooding was bad enough. Now nearly 1 million gallons of untreated and potentially dangerous wastewater has spilled into the Charles Creek section of the Pascatank River in Elizabeth City. 10 on your side's Marilena Belores has the latest on the spill. About 1 million gallons of wastewater into the streets in a local creek. Officials say it wasn't caused by bad pipes, but instead Mother Nature. The flooding has gone down and the sewage water is out of the streets. But people stopping by the Charles Creek on Friday afternoon say they're not going near the water anytime soon. I think it's bad, but if they've got it under control, that's good news. Cindy Copeland was in the area with the kids she babysits. But I don't want them getting in it. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Knowing there was wastewater in there, the kids weren't going to disobey. I think it's gross. I don't really, the sewer is gross and everything. But city officials say people don't need to be concerned. The volume of water in the Pasquotank River, a million gallons, is very, very small. And it was uh, diluted by the rainwater. The overflow of the sewage water happened on September 21st and lasted about 24 hours. Paul Fredette says the city's wastewater treatment facility was over its capacity. It's equipped to deal with 2.5 to 3 million gallons of wastewater on a daily basis. But on the 21st, it saw between 12 and 14 million gallons of water. That's why people saw wastewater coming out of manholes on the streets and then going into the creek. It when it's storm, storm drainage system, it, it flowed across the road. Wherever the rain was going, it went. But some people don't want to take any chances. Me and my fiance, we was talking about, he said he wanted to go fishing today. I was like, no way, we're not going fishing. Crystal Walker says she wasn't surprised to hear about what happened, and she hopes it doesn't happen again. That's a lot of sewage. That's a lot. Really gross. The public utilities director did say this has happened before, but it is very infrequent. Reporting in Elizabeth City, I'm Maria Elena Boloris, 10 on your side.